Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and watchOS 9.6 released to the public the other day. This particular update is available around the world at the same time for everyone if you're on a watchOS 9 supported device. Now, if you're on watchOS 10, you won't see this update as you're currently on a newer version that's a beta. This will be one of the last versions of watchOS 9 since we should have watchOS 10 releasing to the public within a couple months or so. Now this particular update came in at a fairly small 280 megabytes on my series seven Apple watch. I've been running the betas on my Apple watch ultra with watch OS 10. So be sure to check out those videos as well. Now this released alongside a lot of other Apple updates with iOS 16.6, iPad OS 16.6, Mac OS updates, TV OS and HomePod OS updates, and even older iPhone updates with iOS 15.7.8. So be sure to check out some of the other videos I'll have a little bit later where we talk about what's new with those. And now, as far as new features, let's first take a look at the build number and then we'll talk about what's new. So we'll go to our settings. Then we'll go down to general, then about, and as you can see, it says version number 9.6 with a build number of 20U73. This lets you know that you're on the most recent version if you have that build number. As far as new features, well, Apple hasn't said anything, and you can see that here, where they just say this update provides important bug fixes and security updates and is recommended for all users. Unfortunately, they haven't told us what any of those bug fixes are, whether it pertains to battery drain, maybe different bugs that are throughout. They haven't said anything, and I wish they would give more information as far as what's updated. If they're saying there's bug fixes, they should definitely let us know. However, we do know that there's security updates in this, and they're not nice enough to let us know those. And if we go into Safari to Apple's security website, and I'll link that in the description so you can check this out yourself. If you scroll down, you'll see all of the releases I mentioned before, as well as the latest one for watchOS 9.6. If we go into this and scroll down, you'll see important updates for things such as the Apple neural engine, find my, the kernel or the underlying code to the OS. And if we continue down, you'll see WebKit updates and more. And these are basically the same updates that we get with iOS as well. So very important updates. For example, here with find my, the impact was on an Apple watch series four or later, and it was an app may be able to read sensitive location information. They fixed it by a logic issue was addressed with improved restrictions. And then they give credit to who actually submitted the information to them. So there's a bunch of different ones here for neural engine. Like I said, and more, be sure to check them out if you're interested in the description and this particular update really should not affect performance or battery in any way. This is basically a bug fix and security update, not really fixing anything unless they've actually fixed the battery life. But again, they haven't stated anything about that. So this one has 49% remaining. I charged it, installed the update, and it is not my main Apple watch, but let's take a look at the battery health quick under settings. So if we go back, we'll take a look here and see what we have. And you'll see everything's performing pretty quickly. No issues here, but first let's look at battery health. And this one is at 93%. I have no way of telling how many cycles this has had, but this is a couple of years old and holding up pretty well. I used it for an entire year, actually about two years as I skipped the series eight Apple watch and went right to the Apple watch ultra. Now, as far as overall performance, well, you'll see, I haven't really opened this in quite some time, but things seem to be performing pretty well. If we go into weather, we'll give it a moment to load and it seems to be pretty fast without any issues. So no real complaints there. It seems to be good with performance. As far as future updates, well, all of the different features and changes we expect will be in watch OS 10. I've talked about those in some other updates with the Apple watch ultra, and we can expect new beta updates as soon as tomorrow. We could see them on Tuesday or today at the time of filming this video, all the way up to Thursday. The previous two years with iOS 15 and the watch OS eight and watch OS nine, we had beta four on the 27th of July. So we can expect similar updates then. Now we're not sure if we're going to have watch OS 9.7 betas or not. We'll know that within a few days or next week. And then we'll have probably that as the last beta updates or last public release until watch OS 10, which we expect in mid September or maybe late September. We don't really know for sure at this point. 
Now, Apple also did show off something else new for developers where you can apply for Apple vision pro developer units. You can see that if you're a developer, just go to Safari within developer.apple.com. You'll see, it says, get ready for Apple vision pro. Now you have to apply for this. They'll loan you one, and then you'll have to send it back, but you actually have to keep it fairly secret when you're using it. So just keep that in mind. If you're applying, you probably are already aware with this and you'll have to apply for it, but you'll have the chance to use it and develop apps for it. Of course, we won't see this release to the public until early next year, according to Apple. So we'll have to wait and try that out. And of course it will be $3,500. But as far as watchOS, we expect watchOS to continue watch OS nine updates and then watch OS 10. And of course we should have a series nine Apple watch this year, and maybe even an Apple watch ultra two this year. So lots of things to look forward to just right now. It seems to be fairly stable. I did hear some bug complaints with running the beta, but in general, I would highly recommend you install this update for the security updates. So if you're wondering if you should install watch OS 9.6, I would say absolutely just for security. I really would not expect it to, to affect performance or anything like that. But let me know if you've installed this already. And also for many of you that ask what this watch face is, I know I cover this in a lot of videos, but many people ask me, this is modular. And if we go to edit, we'll go over to our complications. The middle app is called Lumi. It's a paid app I paid for, and you'll see that it shows golden hour or the best time to take photos with sunset and and sunrise and gives information about that. It's fully customizable. You can see first light moonrise and countdown timers to that as well. So it's really nice, very simple, but very nice looking as well. And it's just the modular watch face. So that's what I'm using. And of course, let me know if you're using this watch face or what one you think is the best in the comments below. Now, let me know if you've heard anything different in watch OS 9.6. And of course I'll link this wallpaper in the description. Like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.